So, like we were talking about last week, uh, we are still moving towards the end of this unit. Um, so, I don't know, I feel like normally we move on a little bit quicker, but section 3.4 is just a little bit harder and takes a little bit more practice than the rest of the stuff. So, that's why we kind of drag our feet a little bit. Um, so, I had you do a practice quiz last class that was the 3334 worksheet 1. And I've got one more practice quiz for you. That is the handout this morning, or this afternoon, I guess. 105, 3.3, 3.4, worksheet two. Um, so again, you know, at some point we do have to move on. So our quiz for this will be on Wednesday. That's the only other time I'm gonna see you this week because it's a B week. And then next week, we will review the same two sections and test the same two sections. So, of course, ideally, you put in the effort, you figure out what you need to figure out now. That should set you up for a good quiz grade on Monday. I'm sorry, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then you shouldn't need to review very much to do well on your test. So, I don't remember how many points the quiz is worth. You know, probably generic 20, 30 point quiz. But you know, those are minor points. And then the test next week will be a 50 point major. It goes with the other 50 points we did before spring break. So, uh, to really treat this as a good practice quiz, I'd like to give you some time to do this. Um, our quiz will be no calculator. So, if you're doing this worksheet two with a calculator, then you might be misleading yourself. Um, I would say that your quiz looks very similar to worksheet one, worksheet two, but it is more similar to worksheet one because worksheet one, I think the first six questions were multiple choice and we do have those as multiple choice on the quiz. 
but if you really know what you're doing, you should be able to do short answer as well. So, Willow, was that your question? Okay. So go ahead and, I don't know, let me give you about 30, 35 minutes here. That should be plenty of time for everyone to try these questions. And then I will share my work and my answers. Of course, the last six questions on solving equations, you could do those differently and still get a correct answer. So you really shouldn't live and die by my answers. But once you're done, you can check those with a calculator. Just make sure you're not using a calculator to try to get those answers. So I will go over all of that um, quickly when this timer's up. And then, of course, anything you guys need help on as far as connecting the dots, um, that would be what the rest of class is for. So should be a pretty easy day if you've been staying caught up. I am asking for this one to be turned into Google Classroom, though. So I've already asked for all the other stuff last time. So this should be the last one before Wednesday, at least. OK, any questions about the? plan for today before I get out of your way a little bit.
Please try to be finished in about 20 more minutes so that you can check your work when I go over it. 20. And then Cole's going to do all the work for us. <laughs> okay. So I wasn't here on Wednesday? Yes. Or Friday? Okay. So I don't understand this back page. Did you walk me through the first question? Well, each question is going to be different. They're just like a overview. Okay. Well, the majority of the questions, like four of the six, right? You can just undo anything that's pretty simple, like okay. undo plus twelve from both sides. Okay, so minus twelve from each side. Undo times two from both sides. Okay. Oh no, minus twelve. So it'd be thirty-six, fifteen, eighteen. 
It's my thinking. Okay, and then almost every single question you need to switch the forms. So this is exponential form. Right. What would that look like in logarithmic form? Yeah. Switch the 2x and the 18. Yeah. And then uh, this is no, no, no. so right here when you put this in log form, it doesn't oh, become natural, so it should be log, log base e. e. Yeah, right. okay. so you can either erase the e or you can leave it log base e. Okay, okay. okay. and then how do you get from 2x equals to x equals? You divide by 2. Okay, so x is going to be natural log of 18 all over 2. Okay. And then it'd be x equals, does it, x just equals that? Yeah, well, okay. but I said natural log. So, yeah, natural log yeah. so these are basically the same thing. This one doesn't have any basic algebra to be done at first, but if you switch the forms, you can undo add and multiply at the end. Okay. This one you can undo the times four, switch the forms, and undo the times two at the end. Okay. These two, you can multiply both sides by the denominator so it's not a fraction, and then it's similar to those. Okay. This one, you, were you here for expanding and condensing? Yes. Okay. Well, if you condense those, the first step, then it's similar to these. Okay. And then this one, you have to do something different on. So I can't really give you a hint without just telling you what to do. So. Okay. So you'll see it when I get to it. Or do you have to do it? 
Why are you riding that? Why are you riding that in high posture? Why are you riding that in high posture? Is You just go right back to it. <laughs> Were you even on your phone? Yeah. I was. I was the first time. The second time we just started acting like the one so that he would get caught. Then we'd be like, I'm not. Dude, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Dude, but I have, I have no clue on every single answer in my class. So what do you do for the what do you do for the you just leave it? I don't think you <laughs> Can I subtract this one out of the Wait, what did I say? Yeah. So I'll make this one so good. So No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. That's not. You're not supposed to convince it on the day. Are you? No, you solve convincing on the day. Ten, you convince. Oh my. Dude, I know. He just told me. Yeah, he told you it equals ten. No, I called her. I'm not sure. Look at this one. That's fun. That's exactly right. It's the same problem. This is this side is just convinced. So, so you don't have to convert. It's the same thing. So you don't have to convert. Yeah, exactly. So you're answering. No, it's whatever this ends up being. I'm not done with it. Cool. Good job. Beat him up. You would not. You would not. <coughs> Every single time we try to wrestle, you get put in a headlock and you're just laying on your bed on top of you like this. Yes. And then Kate comes in and tries to save you. I give two people a headlock. Let's be in a headlock. You're like this. He plays dark as a bite. He does. Oh, bite shot. He's really bite shot. That was real smooth. Where did my phone just get Jazz, the boots. I had I just got new boots. I stole, I, my grandpa just gave me some stolen. I didn't steal them. I got four pairs now. I got a leg. I want, I want, I want, I want, all the boots I have are nice. I have two ostriches. I'll get around the work. I have that. Work boots for years. Oh, work boots. I only wear the nice ones. Just that. My ostrich. Oh, yeah. 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 Those were just <laughs> those were just leather work boots. Ostrich. 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 They're the same boots as you. Ostrich are the ones with the with the little little. They're like brown. They're and then they're like speck. They're that looks. Looks like little mushrooms all over it. 
that way you like them. I eat no, I like them because they're pretty sweet. They do look good. They're pretty expensive. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. I want a pair of Tacovas. I want a pair of Tacovas, but I was going to buy a pair of Tacovas, but I'm going to buy a guitar instead. You got me banned on this. I didn't do anything. What are you getting? Oh, what brand do you wear? Yeah, I have better than my own brand. I wear these, some old Nike Air Force ones. I don't know what they're called. They are the best ones. Yeah, they're 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 the best ones. Yeah, they
So, you should either be finished or at least know which ones you struggled with. So, this time, I'd like to uh, maybe just start off with all the answers and maybe a quick description. And then I'll go back and do any of them in a longer way if you need me to. So, question one. Change of base. So, that you have to remember that there's two ways to do change of base. That's important because if the quiz is multiple choice on that question, which I think it is, it could be written as the left way or the right way. Log of x over log of 5 or natural log of x over natural log of 5. Okay, the next few were questions about expanding or condensing. So those are from 3.3. So again, I can go over any of these in more detail, but we're just going to talk very generally first because that will help most people. 
For question two, you have to deal with that square root first. So you can see I changed it to an exponent of a half. And since it was an exponent on something I was taking the log of, I could bring it down. And then the expanding part was saying division inside of a log expands as subtraction. Three and four, we're asking you to condense. There's only two ways to condense. Addition, addition can condense with multiplication. Subtraction can condense with division. But question three also tested you to see if you knew what to do with that five and the three. You need to bring them up and get them out of the way. And on question four, you should probably go ahead and do 54 divided by nine and change it to six. Since that comes out to a nice whole number, you should probably go ahead and change that. All right, number five is like the one I had you do in your notes, and you had one like this on worksheet one. Um, and this is the one that I have a little bit of concern about because you can expand the division into subtraction, but then this stuff over here expanded again. Multiplication expands to addition, but the most common mistake here is this last symbol. If this is minus all of this, when you expand it, it still has to be minus the whole thing. It's not just magically minus the first part of the expansion and plus the second part. That doesn't make sense. So you can either leave it in parentheses like this or you could distribute it, which changes this last sign to a negative. Again, I would suspect most of the wrong answers, you guys had this last, this last line, but you had the wrong symbol at the end. And as multiple choice, that distractor answer, that incorrect distractor answer where this is a plus is almost guaranteed to be one of the choices. So, Also, if you had a lot of extra time, something to consider on the quiz. You know, we were expanding in this question. If you're willing to take a few minutes and condense your answer and it goes back to this, then that would maybe help you catch some of your mistakes. All right, and then the last of the expanding, condensing, the last of the 3.3 stuff um, number six was condense. So bring up the three as an exponent, bring up the two as an exponent, and then subtraction condenses into division. Try to color coordinate that for you why it works that way. So one through six, that's all of the section 3.3 stuff. So this would be a good time to pause before we look at the solving equation ones. Again, that was just very quick in general. It's fine if you guys need me to I'd be happy to erase the work of any of that and work it out from the start at a slower pace. So is there any of these one through six you would like me to go over in more detail? Okay. All right, uh, let's look at the last six questions. So again, to me, this is the harder part, but this is why we also didn't quiz a few classes ago. 3.4 takes more practice before you feel comfortable. I feel like number seven is kind of an outlier here. So let me talk about question eight first. <laughs> That's the answer that I got for number eight. But remember, some of these questions, you could have an equivalent answer. Your answer could look a lot different and your answer can still be fine. If you think you did it correctly, but your answer looks different, the easiest way for you to check is to store it in your calculator like we did with the book assignment. You store this in for X, you type this stuff in your calculator, if it gives you 48, it's good enough, it works. If it doesn't give you 48, then something's wrong. But, okay, so same thing. I'm gonna just give the quick general explanation to all of these and then I will work out all of them or any of them that you need. So a lot of these questions, starting with eight, are gonna have you undoing, add, subtract, multiply, or divide at the end, and somewhere in the middle, which I will highlight, you have to switch the forms. So I ended a plus 12, I ended a times two, that left me with something in exponential form, I switched it to logarithmic form, and then the last thing was to undo a times two with the divide two. Undo, add, subtract, multiply, and divide at the beginning, undo, add, subtract, multiply, or divide at the end, and you probably need to switch the form somewhere in the middle. Yeah? So that can't simplify to the natural log of 
It does not. Because it's not the natural log of 18 divided by 2, it's the natural log of 18, comma, all divided by 2. Yeah, not the same thing. So this is what my answer is. And if you do 18 divided by 2 and you say it's that, totally different number. Again, I skipped number seven on purpose. I'm going to do that one last. Um, so number nine, kind of similar, <coughs> except it had a different first step. I multiplied both sides by the denominator so that it didn't have fractions. To me, just kind of glancing at that question, it looks a little harder because of the fractions. So like we did with complex fractions, just multiply by all the smaller denominators and then all those all go away. And then to me, it's just like question eight. I undid a plus two with the minus two. I undid a times two with the divide two. I switched the forms somewhere in there. And then I undid a times negative one by multiplying both sides by negative one. So I'm doing add, subtract, multiply, or divide at the end, at the start, and this one multiplying by the denominator so you didn't have a fraction. Okay, uh, let me come back to 10. I'm just trying to stick with the ones that are very similar. So 11 is also similar. I undid multiplication, I switched the forms, and then I undid a times two with divide by two. Undo, add, subtract, multiply, or divide at the start and end of a question is both very common but not as common as switching the forms. Exponential form the logarithmic form, logarithmic form the exponential form. If you don't know how to switch the forms and you don't think of it in every one of these questions, that is gonna be bad news for you. That's really the biggest key to these. Okay, last one that was like this. To me, same thing. This was already in logarithmic form. I switched the forms. You should have switched the form in five of the six of these. And then I undid a plus three with the minus three and I undid a times two with the divide two. That's the stuff that might make your answer look kind of crazy, but it's also the part you should feel comfortable with. Switching the form <laughs> is the key to those. Okay, so just those questions, since those are the similar ones, 11, 12, nine, or eight. Is there any of those you'd like me to um, go over the whole thing and not just that quick explanation. Yeah, nine. number nine. Okay. okay, so glancing at nine, again, it looks a little bit different than the other four because of this, it's got this fraction here. But if I multiply this side, by one plus e to the negative x, it cancels that out. And as long as I multiplied this side by the same thing, I kept my equation balanced. I multiplied the equation by the same thing. So that leaves just the six on the left. And if I distribute this two, that's what it looks like on the right. So that's the one step that's unique about this question that didn't show up in any of the other six. But what I'm trying to and still in your head is now undo a plus two with the minus two, undo a times two with the divide two, and I'm gonna just switch these two sides. When there's not any other normal algebra stuff to be done, that's probably when you need to switch the forms. This one's in logarithmic form. That's its equivalent, or I'm sorry, this is exponential form. This is his equivalent logarithmic form. Remember, you just put a log out front and you swap those two things around. And I don't really want to know what negative x is. I want to know what positive <coughs> x is. So multiply this side by negative one, multiply this side by negative one. That's where I came up with that. Now, I would not take off on the quiz if you left this log base e. But again, log base E is the same thing as natural log, so 
you should really make a habit out of just changing that at the end. Okay, is that enough for nine? Okay. Was there any of the other four or three like that? Okay, number 10, there is only one good first step. No matter how you want to do this question, at some point, you have to recognize this is log base 5, this is log base 5, and they're separated with subtraction. So you can condense those with division. That's what you should have shown me that you can do in questions 1 through 6. There's several of those. For the fifth question in a row now, take it from whatever form it's in to the other form, logarithmic to exponential. I just changed 5 squared to 25. And yeah, you might still have a few more steps before you're done, but now this is more what you're used to. <coughs> Multiply both sides by x, subtract an x from both sides, and undo times 24 by dividing by 24. The first two steps are the important ones though. Realizing that you could condense those and switching the form was helpful. I want to say on worksheet one that we did on Friday, I want to say we switched the form in all six of the questions on the back. Today, only five of them. But worksheet one had a question like this. You should explain. Or if you had a question like this, you should expect one of your questions on your quiz to need you to expand or condense before you can start. Likewise, worksheet one and worksheet two, question nine, both had you deal with this fraction. So if it was on both of the worksheets, there's a good chance that would be on the quiz. Okay, so there's only one of these like this where you had to start off with um, condensing. Is there any steps of this you'd like me to give more detail to? Okay, then probably the hardest one. Actually, I'm just going to work this one. Let me hide my work. Is number seven. And part of what makes this one difficult is there's only one good first step and it doesn't match up with any of the other steps. So, again, in my head, I think of a list of things that usually help. I can't do this in my head. There's nothing to expand or condense like the last question. Um, I can't undo, add, subtract, multiply, or divide. It's not in logarithmic form or exponential form that I could just switch to forms. Most of the stuff that usually works doesn't work on this question. But there is one other tool I gave to you in your notes, and I said I had to show that to you because sometimes that's the only way to move forward on questions. And that was taking the log or natural log, whatever you prefer, of both sides. That's considered okay because I'm doing it to both sides. It's keeping it balanced. <clears throat> and how this helps us solve for x is it gets x out of the exponent. This exponent is on something, is the exponent on something I'm taking the log of, so I can get it down out of the exponent. Same thing with this. It's an exponent on something I'm taking the log of, so I can bring it down. Now, same idea. This, this question still has four or five more steps involved, but the logarithm part's over. You just needed to know that one logarithm property about why I brought these down, and you needed to know that you could take the log of both sides when nothing else worked. Not the first thing I try, but it is something that is sometimes needed. Now, if I remember right on worksheet one, it had a factoring type question, so that's fair game for the quiz. And then this one has one where you need to take the log of both sides. So that's fair game for the quiz too. You need to make sure you look at both those worksheets to prepare for the quiz. Okay, but to finishing this up, natural log of two is just some decimal, so I could distribute this. X times the natural log of two and three times the natural log of two. 
If you're trying to solve for x, you need all your x stuff to be on one side. We call that isolating x. You want all your numbers on the other side. And then this is just the step that I don't know why, but it's just very hard for you guys to see. Even my calculus students usually can't answer this. But the next thing you have to do to move forward, like a lot of times you guys can combine these together instantly. Because if this is like 5x minus 3x, you know that combines to 2x. But natural log of 3 is some weird decimal of x's. Natural log of 2 is some weird decimal of x's. But what you can say is if they both have an x, you can factor it out as a GCF. And then undo times with divide. <coughs> now again, if you took the log of both sides instead of the natural log, your answer might look a little bit different, but it could still be OK. And the quickest way for you to check all of that is to store your answer in for x. Type in 3 to the x in your calculator, see what its decimal is, and then type in 2 to the x plus 3 in your calculator to make sure it's the same decimal. If it's not the same decimal, then your answer does not work. Okay, so I know I worked that one from scratch, but it was still pretty quick. So is there any parts of 7? that you would like to ask about. All right, so while this is fresh in your head, I would highly suggest you put stars by the steps where you got stumped. Put stars or circle the questions that you struggled with that you should probably practice again. And if I was you, I would review Worksheet 1 and Worksheet 2. Both of those are good practice quizzes. Anything you struggled on, either one of those are likely to be on your real quiz. But on the flip side, you do have about just a touch over 60 minutes here. So even if you feel like you're struggling or this is difficult, 60 minutes should go a long way into your studying. So I will ask that since you should have 105 finished now, if you'd please put that in Google Classroom so you don't have to worry about it on Wednesday. And again, if you're not ready to take the quiz, please use this time to study. That way if you have some questions that pop up, I'm here to help. Or you can work with your neighbors. But we're quizzing on Wednesday going over the same sections on Monday for test review and then next Monday will be your 50 point test over the same same content so, and then we will be done with logarithms and we'll get to do something new for a while so just let me know when and where I can help